Good evening, everybody. I welcome you all to my channel in Jesus' name. I'm Dr. Prophet Philip from the Authors of God and the founder of the Authors of God. If this is your first time of coming across my videos or my channel, please do not forget to turn up the notification bell. Turn up also, then also you comment and subscribe. Share so that when next I load a new video, you'll be able to see notification. I won't be talking much, dropping some message. From this moment, I'll be dropping key points, prayers, the portions to read, and the prayers to make. And whenever I'm dropping any prayers here, please do not just use it once and drop it. Write it down, document it so that at the end of it all, you will have all this with you, which you can go back and recall to them. You pray with them. Any prayers I drop should always be prayed frequently for the situation of what you need that prayer to, to what you need that prayer for. Frequently, at least once daily, the prayers should be repeated. Always repeat them, should be repeated. So now I'll be dropping prayers for comfortable settlement in your home. Also, I'll be dropping prayer for barred women. But first of all, I'm going to draw the one for barred women. Prayers for barred women. Those who are not able to give birth to a child. And I will be coming up with prayers for infant deaths in home. Infant deaths. That is prayer for the death of children in infancy. I will come with that prayer. I will still drop that, but not on this video. That will be dropped in the other video. So now you get your paper and your biro. You write as I read. You read Isaiah 54, Genesis 1, Psalm 24, several times daily for three days. You read these verses several times daily for three days. You will burn several candles during the consecration several candles during this consecration which means if you pray in the morning you own a candle let that one finish burning throughout the whole day you are going to use several candles the second day several candles the third day several candles which is for three days prayers for barren women if you do this you will carry your child i give you these guarantees you that have no child in your home you are married, a child has been the problem. If there is no infection in your body, when you read this, God does not know whether there is infection or not. You will take him. But if there is any, this place does not say you should not take any medication. You treat yourself out of the infection and also let God do his work because the physical needs the practical. That's why it's written in the Bible that helps are made for the service of men. Helps are men for the service of men. So if you have infection, treat it and use this portion. No matter the power behind it, holding you not to give birth will live and you will give birth. When you read these portions of Bible, seven days, as I have told you, you read it over olive oil or water. Over olive oil or water. then you can drink it you keep drinking it have it in your home read it over olive oil or water if you are using olive oil don't use the one in a plastic container use the one in the bottle that gallon gallon oil something like that use the one in a in a bottle that is the real one now the holy name to be used in the prayers when you read this psalm is jehua the holy name of God is Jehua to, to use in this prayer. Jehua, J E U A, J E U A, J E U A, Jehua. 
Now, the prayer as following. God that reigneth in the light. That is the meaning of Jehua. God that reigneth in the light. So I want to start the prayer the way it's supposed to be. This is how you read it. Jehua, God that reigneth in the light. Almighty God, thou great and merciful Lord of all things, who of thy free goodness has given happy end to Sarah, the mother of Isaac, Rebekah, the mother of Jacob, and Ishua, Rachel, the mother of Joseph, and Benjamin, above all, to Hannah, mother of Samuel. Thy abundance of mercies, make me a mother of a child, that I may sing a newness of life. At the end, let me glorify and enjoy thee forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That is the prayer for buried women. I repeat again. Jehovah, God that reigneth in the light. Almighty God, thou great and merciful Lord of all things, who of thy free goodness has given happy end to Sarah, the mother of Isaac, Rebekah, the mother of Jacob, and Ishua, Rachel, the mother of Joseph, and Benjamin, above all, to Hannah, mother of Samuel. Thy abundance of mercy. Make me a mother of a child, that I may sing a joyful song in thy house. Make me to forget past shame. Lift me into newness of life. That the end, let me glorify and enjoy thee forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That is the prayer. Very simple for you to do. That is how you pray. It. You don't need to be shouting and cursing about it. Let water be in your front or the uh, olive oil. Then you hold the candle at the front of the water or at the front of the olive oil. Do not forget, off the light, close the doors, close the curtains, close the window, and use the flame of this candle to read. Whenever I'm giving you an assignment, a portion in the Bible, or a prayer, don't forget. The male light must not be used to read the Bible. The male light must not be used to do the prayer. Close the curtain, close the window, close the door, off the light, use a flame of candle to read. After the prayers, when you open your, your, your door or your windows, you will know there is power that has entered you. I don't need to tell you, you will know yourself. You will feel it that there is something happened, that something that happened to you. There is power that has entered you. I'm giving this full guarantee. Try it, but do not forget. Every practical you do, do not forget to drop your comment so that at least I will know that you are doing it and the testif uh, uh, you are testifying about it. So this is the prayer for this year today. The next video, I will come up with the prayers for comfortable settlement. So if this is your first time of coming to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, turn up the notification bell, turn up, then uh, share and comment to this my channel so that you can see new video if I upload. So let us pray. Father, O oh Lord, I pray for every buried woman here coming across this video. Whether you are coming across it today, after now, Father, O oh Lord, may you let them receive their blessings through this channel in the name of Jesus. With the prayers and blessing for them here, the practical has said they should do. Father, O oh Lord, may you surprise them the way you have been surprising others in the name of Jesus. Every child that is running away from them, Father, O oh Lord, open their womb. Let them begin to bear seed because you said, Go ye into the world and multiply. Father, there is no barrier in your land. So everybody here will not be buried. Nobody, no woman can be buried here. No man can be buried here. Father, O oh Lord, may you release their children unto them in the name of Jesus. 
from the spiritual realm, free them to this world in the name of Jesus. Are they holding them from the river? Are they holding them from the coven? Are they holding them from their home? Are they holding them from anywhere? Is it even the woman he said that did it? Is it a family cause? Father, I neutralize them with the blood of Jesus. Every law that is blocked concerning children in their home, I open them all the doors in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Amen. It's well with you all.